Here's how to get iOS 17 on your iPhone. Now, if you want to get the latest iOS version that Apple released, iOS 17, it's currently in beta and in a couple months, it will be a public release. I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing that I recommend doing is hop into your settings and tap on your name at the very top. Now on here, we'll tap on iCloud and then you can see midway down is iCloud backup. Let's tap on that. And then towards the bottom, hit backup. Now you just wanna make sure that you back up your iPhone just in case upgrading to iOS 17 causes any kind of bug or glitch. You don't want that specifically on your iPhone to be, you know, have information lost or anything like that. You want your iPhone backed up beforehand. So the next thing that we'll do is hop out of here and open up a web browser and we'll just type in Apple beta and tap on the very first link here. Now, this is the beta software program. You can see iOS 17 here. Let's hit this get started. And again, I can scroll down and it shows iOS 17. And it says to get started, just enroll your iOS device. So let's tap on that link. And then it says archive a backup. But then beyond that, if you are running 16.4 or later, iOS 16.4 or later, it says basically just open up the beta updates. Now, if you do have a device running 16.3 or earlier, you're gonna have to download the configuration profile. So you just tap on that second link. But all I have to do is hit this open beta updates and you can see immediately it pulls up the beta updates on here. I can turn them off. I can have iOS 17 public beta or developer beta depending on which version I want. So I recommend the public beta. Basically, this is a more stable release of the iOS 17. Keep in mind, this isn't fully public to everybody yet. This is still in the beta updates but just tap on that and then go back here and you can see if it refreshes, it'll give you the ability to download and install iOS 17. Now keep in mind, it is a beta update, so there might be bugs or glitches on there. And if you do enroll in this, it will install this feedback app, that pink feedback app on your iPhone. Basically, this is your ability to give feedback back to Apple if you find any kind of bugs or glitches on your iPhone while using that iOS 17 beta. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.